Get on the ground right now! Lay down flat on the ground! Do not reach for that weapon! New at 11, brand new body camera video out tonight giving us an up-close look at a deadly standoff. It happened in LaGrange. Police and SWAT teams dodging bullets for hours. CBS 46's Zach Summers is here in the studio tonight with a look at how law enforcement handled this dangerous and high-stakes situation. Zach. Yeah, a tense ordeal that started when LaGrange police went to go check on Brian, Jesse and his two children at his home. The two boys were safely removed after Jesse, believed to have been suffering a mental breakdown, threatened police. It sparked a nearly hours long standoff that ended with Jesse dead inside his own home. Video released by LaGrange police shows the barrage of gunfire coming from Brian Jesse's home last month as officers tried getting him medical and mental assistance. Brian, I'm here to help you, sir. Jesse's ex had warned police the 39 year old was unstable. She was afraid he might harm himself or others. Please be careful. He's got an arsenal. Please be careful. For hours, negotiators tried talking Jesse down, but he refused, telling negotiators via text, it's on, later writing, I'm going to die today. Get on the ground right now! At one point, Jesse is seen outside his home in body armor, holding an AR-style rifle, refusing officers' commands to get on the ground. Get on the ground! As the standoff carried into the night, Jesse, back inside his home, continued to fire at police, even throwing explosives at an armored vehicle. Let's turn it right. Let's turn it right. Oh. As the sun rose, a small fire inside the home grew into a full-on blaze. Unused ammunition heard exploding just feet from responding firefighters. Now, Jesse, Jesse's remains were later found inside the home. An autopsy is yet to reveal uh, what exactly, how he died. No officers, though, were hurt during that incident. Rick? Thank you, Zach.